Hi guys, welcome back to Trey Wins RV. My name's Corey. Today I'm going to show you the Open Range Light 216 RBS. It's a brand new layout for the 2015 year and it's here at Trey Wins RV. If you would like a sales price, give us a call at 1-800-RV-OCALA. That's 1-800-786-2252. Follow us on Facebook at Tradewinds RV Inc. Go to our YouTube channel and visit our webpage at www.tradewindsrv.com. The unloaded vehicle weight of the 216 RBS is around 6,000 pounds with a hitch weight of around 745 pounds. Your overall length is 25 feet 6 inches with a height of 11 feet 6 inches and a width of 8 feet 4 inches. All open range models are equipped with the PVC roof. The benefits to that is going to be 20% lighter than the EPDM rubber, be more reflective of the UV rays that you'll get from the sun, and also be more durable with less maintenance. Alright, we're going to start on the front of this RV. On the 216 RBS, you have an electric tongue jack located right here, included with the courtesy light. Behind that, you have two 30-pound propane tanks, which gives this uh, small 25-foot travel trailer an enormous LP capacity of 60 pounds. Also included with your purchase, you're going to get a 24-series deep cycle auxiliary battery. Right here, you'll also notice the courtesy light uh, for when you're hooking up your RV at night so you can see what you're doing. All right, we're going to walk further down the side of the 216 RBS. Here you'll notice your pass-through storage is accessible from both sides. It's a carpeted storage compartment and it has two courtesy lights in there for when you're uh, loading odds and ends inside. You look at the fiberglass sidewall, it's got the 1400 Lumilux glass finish, which is going to make it very, uh, very appealing to the eye and give it that luster. Also, the frameless windows are a new standard for these RVs now. Um, they actually use a process, which is a hot melt process, the same that they're going to use when they put your windshield on. So it's actually a little bit more watertight than what you would get with a rubber seal window. Take a look at your stabilizing jacks on this RV. Um, it actually has the lock arm technology that you'll find in your high-end fifth wheels. Makes it more laterally stable than if you had a six-point leveling system on this small RV. Also, you do have an outside courtesy light, two exterior marine grade speakers, um, a 17-foot electric awning with the LED strip on the exterior so you can adjust the pitch of the light and also it's going to draw bugs away from your RV as opposed to near it. Um, also you'll notice this you have a nice big slide on this side there's opposing slides on this RV it's going to open up the interior quite a bit. Again uh, you also have the same stabilizing jacks located on the back side of this RV in all four corners. All right, we're located on the back side of the 216 RBS. So take a look at it. You notice the nice 3D artwork back there. It's going to be very appealing to the eye. Also, you do have a diamond plate cover on your reinforced steel bumper. You have an access ladder, ladder so you're able to get up to the roof. All your lights back here are LED. Also, brand new to the 2015 year, you, come, you have standard uh, backup camera hookup. On the back left side of the 216 RBS, you will find your uh, water connections located inside this handy little uh, access port. Um, your water tanks are as follows. You have a 50-gallon uh, fresh water, a uh, 62-gallon gray water, and a 31-gallon uh, wastewater tank. Inside of here, you also find your city water connection, your black water flush, um, and your fresh water connection, as well as your uh, satellite hookup and 110-volt service. Also, this RV does run off 50-amp service. Uh, that's important to, to notice when you're buying a 25-foot uh, travel trailer. Also, your water heater is made by Atwood. It's a uh, six gallon water heater that has a 17.8 gallon per hour quick recovery system so that you can keep hot water rolling in your RV. Your waste dump station is located right here beneath your 50 amp service and, uh, and water heater. Also you'll, you'll notice another stabilizing jack located right here on the back left corner. Your furnace exhaust is right here. You have a 30,000 BTU furnace on this RV. Again, the other slide I was talking about, the opposing slide located right here. Let's move a little bit more forward. You also have your other uh, access point for your pass-through storage that I mentioned on the other side. Again, the standard on this RV is slam latches, so you don't got to finagle with those little tabs. Let's go inside. That concludes my exterior walkthrough of the 216 RBS. I'm going to take you inside, show you around the beautiful interior. As you walk in, you'll notice a three-step entry point um, for the small RV. That's something you don't see all the time. Also, a nice big access handle right here, so you'll be more stable while walking inside. Um, again, you have a door here located uh, with a gas piston and you don't have that screen door combo to finagle with, but you still get the same options uh, with this, with this uh, door right here. Welcome inside the 216 RBS. Uh, as you know, this travel trailer is 25 and a half feet, but it has a square footage of over 220 feet. Um, the, with the opposing slides, they really open it up in here. I want to start off in the bathroom show you the real crown jewel of this RV. Uh, I want you to take a look at the shower. This is something you won't find in a travel trailer that's 25 and a half feet. Nice stand-up shower, it does have the seat in there uh, with sliding glass door. 
You also have a uh, porcelain toilet here with a uh, with your foot flush. Uh, moving over here, you have nice space for linens, toiletries, um, and you also have a window back here as an emergency exit. Um, moving over to the sink, very beautiful sink here, nice place uh, to to store your you know sunscreen, to toothpaste, um, and such. You also have a medicine cabinet and vanity there. Um, now let's talk about the. Uh, you also have a fantastic fan uh, located above my head. Comes uh, standard with the max air vents over top. Um, also, your your AC is ducted into the bathroom. This is a very important feature. Also, your solid wood door here with a nice little coat here. Here you'll notice your carbon monoxide detector for safety. If you'll take a look over here, you have your breaker panel. Something really cool that Open Range has gone and done. They switched out your fuses for your slides with these resettable fuses. So if they do trip. You don't have to waste uh, you know, a day of your vacation going and trying to find an uh, oddball fuse. Let's move up top. Your Dometic thermostat is located right here. That controls your 15,000 BTU air conditioning with ducted air. If you notice here, uh, Western Aspen wood is the, uh, is the wood they use for your cabinetry in this open range. Also, your, uh, your drawers inside of here are all plywood, full extension, have a 100 pound weight capacity on them. Uh, OSB particle board uh, it has a very high formaldehyde content and it's a little bit heavier uh, than plywood. So for that reason, Open Range doesn't use it in any of their products. If you look at the kitchen slide here, um, you will notice you have your Atwood oven uh, located right here. It's a nice little size oven with a uh, three burner stove located on top. You have a Hong's uh, range. And the fan on that is actually quieter than most of the other uh, ranges that are used. The high point 1.35 kilowatt microwaves located right here. You have another little handy storage storage place right here. And also down here, a really cool, really cool feature. Shoot, storage down here as well. Quite a big space for uh, for pots and pans. Here you notice your Norcold refrigerator. It's a 6.3 cubic foot refrigerator. Uh, it's fridge freezer combo. Has five different temperature settings and the ability to go switch from uh, LP to electric. The island inside this RV does have your sink located. It's a stainless steel 50-50 sink. It's a gooseneck faucet over top. Uh, you have countertop uh, cutouts they can put on there so you have nice big space to prepare food. You have tons of storage on this island as well. We'll go and show you that. Again, the full extension drawers make it really easy uh, when trying to access stuff in the back of your drawers. There's also some more storage over here I want you to see. A handy little place for your trash can. We're going to move into the living room. Before I do, I want to show you the storage located right here. There's substantial space. Again, the Western Aspen wood uh, gives us a great finish inside this RV. I want to talk a little bit about the slide mechanism inside an open range. Um, it's actually an AccuSlide system, it's a pulley system with cables. They have one cable on each corner uh, to pull the slide in and then one more cable on each corner to pull it out. A total of eight cables. It gives it a nice fluid motion in and out. It's not as loud as your rack and pinion slides and it, you don't get a jerky motion at all. Uh, so you're not going to compromise your seal and eventually lead to water damage. Let's take a look at the couch here. Uh, as you'll notice there are a couple extra cushions. Um, the reason for that, I'll go ahead and show you. You have this nice little pull out here. Uh, doubles as storage, okay. Um, but you just push, put these cushions down right here and you have an L-shaped sofa inside of this nice small compact travel trailer. That also turns into a bed. Uh, this right here will jackknife into a bed uh, so this all right here will sleep will sleep uh, up to two people comfortably. Also this table is a single pole table, it's a screw-in table, not the same you're going to get in your low-end travel trailers. Let's look over top. Here's going to be some more storage above the couch. Again, I haven't mentioned it yet, but uh, LED lighting is the standard inside this RV except for the decorative lighting. You'll have LEDs throughout. Okay, moving into the entertainment center. Your control panel is located right here. Uh, it's going to have your monitor panel where you, where you see your levels of your fresh water tank, black and gray water, and also the level of your battery. It's going to control both slides and turning on your water heater and switching that from gas to electric as well as your uh, water pump your awning, your lights, that's really the brain of this RV. Underneath that's going to be your Furion DV1200 multimedia player. You're going to play your CDs, DVDs, USB uh, input, auxiliary input, so you can play music off your phone, 
also a headphone uh, output and it kicks out 150 watts to your sound system. You have four speakers located here um, as well as two more marine grade speakers outside that I mentioned before. Your Furion LED TV is on a uh, swivel mount here so you can make it uh, adjust the pitch of it so you can watch it from your L-shaped sofa nice and comfortably without having to break your neck. Here we are located in the bedroom of the 216 RBS. Uh, I want to show you around. There's a lot to talk about in here. You have two emergency exits, one on either side of the bed. Um, also, the storage overhead, you have very deep hanging space, um, substantial cabinetry over top, a nice little cubby hole right here uh, that does have 110 volt service. Um, as you can see there, you do have end tables that have drawers as well uh, for storing stuff. Um, for extra storage, you do have uh, space underneath the bed. I'll go ahead and show you now. And this nice little handy uh, drawer here just slides to the left or right so you can access it. And this do have the gas pistons, so it makes it a lot easier when you're trying to pull your bed up. Also, um, you have shelving over top, right where your LCD TV backer location is. You have shelving here for putting up movies or uh, odds and ends, such as you see right now. And also, you have a cable and 110 volt service located right there. Um, again, the antenna of this RV, you have a TV antenna located right there. It's uh, not a manual, it's, it stays up all the time. All right, that concludes my walk through the uh, 216 RBS open range light located here at Tradewinds RV. Standard with your purchase is gonna be a two year warranty that open range offers, as well as one year free roadside assistance. Uh, if you would like a sales price or have any further questions, would like to set up an appointment to view this beautiful RV, give us a call at 1-800-RV-OCALA. That's 1-800-786-2252. Like us on Facebook at Tradewinds RV Inc. Go to our webpage at www.tradewindsrv.com and follow our YouTube channel, Tradewinds RV Incorporated. Thank you for watching and we look forward to earning your business.